now let's work with her MD codes planning. Please let's zoom in her face. My plan for her is to inject L1, L2, L3, and we notice in red we see that this is an alert area. Now, let's see if needed, we are also going to inject NL1, NL2, and NL3. Always remember that NL1 is also in red, so it's an alert zone for us because we have branches to the nose. To preserve and also increase eye beauty, we have to work on her temples. For this, I will work with T1. And also to give support to her upper eyelid, she will benefit of injecting E1, eyebrow number one. In her lower face, what's going to be important is the injection of C1 and Fanson C2. These are the MD codes for fillers. Now, never forget that very importantly is to reduce the lines at the level of glabellar area. Tome. Here we have G-Tox and Smile. I have here Otox. So this is all the treatment planning for this patient. Now, I can decide what I'm going to do per session. For example, if the patient has a limited budget and we are focusing in eye beauty, I can select and I can decide which are the MD codes that I will be injecting in session number one. For example, I can highlight L1, zoom in, L2 and L3 and put together G-Tox and O-Tox. Session number two. I can work with T1 and E1. Session number three. I can work with NLs and the C codes. Today, we will put all of them together so that you have an idea if our patient can afford all the treatments in a single session. Agora, vamos estudar juntos a região malar de uma paciente aos 20 anos. Olha, nós notamos em geral a presença